wa oh, we're gonna make the uh the koi painting today okay so i just read oops look at that it's a disaster okay there so we're gonna do it step by step together and first we do the background then we do the fish and then we do the stick and then put blossoms on it okay and i want and if i show you up close i did two different ones right one i did one time and one i did another time they're similar right but they're not the same like this one i put more blue in it this one i was when i did the background i was softer with my paintbrush this one i can see more scribbles but i like both of them this one doesn't have very much orange in it and this one's way more orange you know, it's like, mm, well, I don't know. Which one do I like better? I don't know, right? So it, it, it will come out how it comes out. So don't be afraid. So we're gonna put, we're gonna, oh, and this is acrylic paint. So it evaporates, it dries, like, you know, evaporates. So if we don't put enough paint on it, when we go to add another color to it, it's already dry. The air just steals all of our water out of our paint. So we're generous with our paint, right? We're generous. We don't put it on and then keep flattening it and thinning it and because your paintbrush is like a sponge and she'll keep picking up the paint again until it's like, and then when you leave and come back and put a color on it, it's dry and it's all, and it looks terrible, right? It's supposed to be water, it's supposed to be slippery, okay? And we're gonna do it in uh, three sections. We're gonna like cut the painting in half and do along this side. Then we do along this side, and then we do the middle, right? So the ugliest side should be the first side, because the first time we've done it, this will be like so ugly, right? But then when we do the other side, it'll be better, because we'll have done one side, and we're like, oh, it totally makes sense now. And then we do the middle, we're like experts, okay? But because this is Earth, and you learn by doing on this planet, so watching me doesn't teach you anything. Doing it teaches right so i need to do it you can't just watch me you have to do it so as soon as i show you something you can jump right in and do it okay so we have two paint brushes oh brand new but this one's for the background and even though it has this fluffy top right i don't really use the top at all like that no i mostly use the sides and peanut butter it on like my i'm not holding it like a pencil I'm kind of holding it by the side, like a magic wand. Ding, 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 bing, right? I go like this. It's a better texture, it's smoother. This is, I keep dropping things today. This is so sharp. You go like this with the tip of it, like you hold like a pencil, it'll scratch the paint back off. You're like, why does it keep coming off? Right? So it's more like, use the side of the paint. That. and then this one's really really pointy but again we can use the tip of it for doing something very very tiny but we actually love the side of the paintbrush and we also love that she's smaller because she won't can't pick up as much paint so this one I go Bleh, and I can pick up a whole bunch of paint if I go Bleh, with this one it can't help pick up very much paint so you can trust the paint brushes that I gave you okay you're not having to figure that out so we're gonna outline our fishes first, just this one side, right? Let's cut, we're gonna cut it in half and go along the fish. And we're gonna use this big paintbrush. And you're like, how can I outline using a giant paintbrush, right? Well, here's the trick. When you get paint, you go and it's like a huge amount of paint. And then you touch your paintbrush to the canvas and it goes whoop and it opens really big because you're gonna push on the, on the canvas. But you only stare at that hair or that one hair, and you touch this one hair to the pencil. And you don't wiggle. That's for crayons and pens and markers, right, and, and color pencils, right? In, with paint, it's so thick, you push the paint like this. So you know how a bulldozer uh, pushes the sand, and then there's a pile of sand on both sides? That's what we're doing. We get a scoop of paint and go push, but right across the top, a nice, thick, smooth piece of paint will come out and make a nice, smooth edge. So no scribbly, scribbly. That'll make a furry fish, right? Victor, were you able to dry yourself some fishes? 
Yeah? And those are your paints, but you didn't have a canvas? But you, you don't have a canvas? Aw. Darn. Life happens. <laughs> I had some kid go home, and he didn't take his paints with him. So he got home, and he was like, ah. Oh. But luckily, we have the YouTube video, right? So we're going to get our white paint first. And, and we need our, let's, we have lots of colors, but what is in our background? It's white. The whole thing is sloppy wet with white. Then we wet the white paint with a little bit of blue and some green. And what does blue, green, and white make? Turquoise. And the turquoise is an accident. You don't have to worry about it. It just shows up, right? But then I put a little extra. And then how many color values to get 3D? This is going to be 3D painting. Three. Dark, medium, light. If you keep touching your painting and scribbling the colors together, they're just going to become one color. So boring, so ugly, right? What we want is if I draw, I just want to just like scribble in a little. I have a piece of white and a piece of green and a piece of blue. Did I keep mixing them together all over? And over? No. No, because if I wanted it all one color, I would stir them together in a cup and mix them up. I just want them all to be touching, right? Okay, so none of that makes sense. How come? Because we haven't done it yet. Because once we do it, then it makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to get my big paintbrush, my white paint. And then the, I open the green and the blue because I'm going to get those. And I just... Want to have them handy. There, I just did that with one hand. Congratulations to me. Okay, now I got my big paintbrush and I want to outline this and this is going to look crazy because you can barely see it because I'm going to put white paint on a white canvas. What? But let's cut our painting in half with a, with a poke of white paint. So I just stab my white paint like I'm mad and I just go poke. And there's a big glob of paint. Now you do it. Poke! Just get your paint. Your first glob of paint. Go! And then, can you find middle? Oh, right. I don't know. Between the two fish's tails. And I just go, all right, I'm just going to uh, do a line. Okay, there. That's just for my brain. So I know I'm only doing one half. I'm not going all over the place and let my paint dry. That's just for your brain. Okay, now I'm going to get a poke more. The more paint you have on your paintbrush, the smoother your paint. It's a weird thing. People like to dry it out and get it all thin. It's not slippery then. We like lots of paint. So I, because this is not um, a watercolor. We're trying to copy the color density of an oil painting. So lots of paint. So I stab my paint, white paint again. Stab! Okay. <laughs> lots. Don't even care. Right? And now I'm going to outline it. So what did I say about outlining? I, t I got a lot of paint and then I smash my paintbrush on the canvas and it goes whoop. But I stare at one hair that's going to outline the pencil, right? So I'm going to go above my fishy's nose and I go smash. Look at how big it got. Oh, it's almost touching already. Oh my God, right? But I sneak down and let ooh, one hair's touching. And should I scribble? No, I push like a bulldozer. And I'm just staring at one hair. And I go like that. And oh, it got dry. Should I stop, give up, and go home? No, I just get more paint. Stab! Now I go ab above her smash where I stopped and then sneak down. Let one hair touch the pencil. Not scribbling. I'm driving my, my bulldozer around the corner. Okay, now you do it. See if it's true. The whole paintbrush just makes a giant line, but we don't care. We're staring at one hair. One hair does the outlining. So you do it. Do you know why you can do this? Once you do it, you're like, oh my God, I'm good at this. Because you can handwrite. Remember when you're in kindergarten and... um. And you had to trace all those letters. Skill, skill right now. Right. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna go around, but I'm only gonna go to his tail. That's about halfway, right? So I'm gonna keep going. I get more white paint. Smash and I gotta sneak up into his armpit. His his fin pit. Okay, now I can push. 
Look at that big glob squeezing out the side. Excellent. Smooth line. And then it got dry. It only lasts about a hand big, and then you have to get more. Poke! And then smash! Yay. And then I just cut it in half, I guess. Well, halfway. That's good enough. Er, bleh, bleh. Oh, I got some on my fish. Should I have a heart attack? No. I just used it to my finger. There. Comes off. Mostly, I just want to know where my pencil is. I don't want to cover up my pencil too much because then I can't see it. You know? Because I won't remember what the shape of the fish is. I don't know. Okay, now we get to get the whole side sopping wet with white paint so we can decorate it with colors. So, a lot of paint. And then do I use the tip of my paintbrush? No. So, I kind of, I, I hold it like, uh, no. Like this, I can be flat and blah, 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 blah. Oh, this is something else I wanted to tell you. So, if I, you have to pick a direction. So if I'm going diagonally this way, then I have to go the same direction on that side and the same direction in the middle because it's the same water. If you want to go straight, if you want to go up and down, whatever it is, you have to stay with it for all three pieces or it won't look connected. Does that make sense? Like here's this one. This one is, I use bigger strokes. Woo, woo, woo. Look at that, so big strokes. And, but I'm going down, then that one's going the same direction, okay? Excellent. Okay, now I'm going to get it really wet. So I'm just going to scoop my white paint like I'm scooping ice cream. What? And then what? And then smoosh. And then I use the side of my paintbrush and I peanut butter it on. And I want, I do not want to see any dry canvas. I want it all shiny, shiny just this side of the fishy. What if I have a lump? Excellent. That'll be a nice bright spot. I do not have to smooth it all flat. I like it lumpy because the, ooh, ooh, corner. Corner's jealous, right? I can hear it scratch. All of a sudden it starts scratching. I know it's not, it's not enough paint. It should be slippery. No, wait, don't you, who's using the tip of their paintbrush? No, let's go scratch, listen. Scratch all the paint. The side is slipperier. Let me explain. Watch this. Everybody pause and look up. Here's my piece of bread. Here's my butter. I'm going to butter my bread. <laughs> that just cuts up your bread, right? What if I hold it like this and peanut butter it on? So, right? So, I'm, oh, I'm using the side. Does that make sense? Okay, the tip is, is too, too, it just makes these marks. Okay, smeary, smeary. I got to go down the side. <laughs> Oh, not enough. I can hear it and it's all thin. I want it lumpy. More paint. Stab. Okay. Look at that. I feel like I'm being very flat today. Usually I'm at a diagonal angle. I don't know. Every day is different. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll change when I put color on. I don't know. I'm always curious about things like that. Okay, there. And then I look in the, a light. I can see we use the light in my room and make sure that whole, all oh, the corners dry. Totally missed the spot. All right. And look how lumpy mine is. Mine has lumps and bumps. That's because mine is going to have little shiny white parts. The side of my paintbrush tip. I know you, you're used to using, holding everything like a pencil, but this isn't a pencil. So we go, oh, it's a paintbrush. So the texture matters. So we're doing this for the texture. So everybody look and push that white paint into the corners. The corner's jealous. You can see, look at it from an angle, look. Oh. I'm trying to get the reflection to show me where I missed. All right. Okay, I can see. So who's ready to decorate? Ready? White paint on our paintbrush. We don't even care because we're about to add colors, right? And then I'm going to get green and I just stab my green like I'm mad or something. Stab! But only one stab because we we need to run out. I mean, it's just putting some. So I just go poke and I go, oh, I got a lump, a lump. Oh, it's only a whatever. And I'm just going to drop it off in areas. I don't know. 
one here, one there, one down the side, one down here, one there. Mostly I'm trying to get it off my paintbrush like it's a booger and I'm trying to get it off. Get off my paintbrush! Ugh! There. But I don't go back and get more. The weird thing about white paint is it's mostly a white gel that turns clear like Elmer's glue. So when your paint dries, it, look, it turns out way darker than when you started. Okay, so you're like, mine's way lighter than hers. Just wait till it dries. Okay. Okay, now I need some blue. So I just poke my blue stem. Okay, get some. And I'm just going to drop it off in where green is not. Right? I don't know. Up, down, medium. Oh, near my fish, down the side. Blue, blue. Get off my paintbrush. And we did that because if we kept all that color on our paintbrush and went traveling, it would mostly be green at the top. And by the time we got to the bottom of our painting, we would have been out of green. But we are trying to make color friends. We do not have to mix these together like we put them in a blender. We are just trying to make them touch a little bit. The, cut, the, the turquoise happens by accident. And then I go traveling like this. Watch, oh, using the side of my paintbrush, and down, 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 and I don't stop, and I don't go back, and I don't fix anything. I just wanna see what happens, okay? So don't stay in one place staring at it. No, don't care. It's a texture thing. So we're just gonna go, and I touch that, and I touch that, and then I moved on, and I went over here, and then I went over here, and then went over here, and then just see what happens. Just for experience, because we're gonna play with it more, obviously. So I'm gonna use the side of my paintbrush and just go, I'll start in the corner and fall down. And scribbly, 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 scribbly. Oh, look how light that is. We're definitely gonna add more color. See, we have to do, oh, I'm near my fin. What should I do? Stop, no, just go slower. There it is. Okay, now I can keep going and going and going and boom. Oh, I'm afraid of touching my fish. But remember we outlined it? So your brain, when you outline something, won't let you touch it. Just slow down and sneak up to it. Beep, 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 there. And I'm traveling, I'm not stopping, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, and I fell to the bottom, tink! And I only touch things once, and I move on, like I don't care. Like I'm a kindergartner, and I'm just like, wee! Oops, I missed my fin again. Fix, fix. Look, I left some untouched. Should I go back and touch it one time? All right, so let me just scribble all this one time. La, 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 la. And not visiting anything, just looking at it, and nice, okay. And I just went and touched and touched and touched and stopped. And then, like, oh my god, that's a little bit turquoise. That looks a little bit good. Who wants to do that one more time? Right? So, do you have variations of color? How many color values for 3D? Three. Dark, medium, light. I feel like I have some areas that are darker than others, but mostly I feel like I just have one color, right? So I'm like, mm, let me try that one more time and get a more intense color and be more free with the side of my paintbrush and just get a kind of texture going that I appreciate. Okay, so I'm going to stab my green again. Stab! And this time, instead of dropping it everywhere, just like drop it above fish. And maybe along the bottom of fish. That's all. Whoops, I need more. That was enough. And that's all. Okay. That's all. And then I still have a filthy paintbrush. I don't care. So I'm going to go get blue. And it will just make turquoise. So now I stab my blue stem. Oh. Now I'm just going to uh, like drop it down the side. Like I just... just like a frame because look I'm gonna show you my original painting <gasps> it's darker on the sides like a frame right so I just go oh wee oh it only lasted halfway oh so at halfway I need to get another poke step okay wee So are we making something? Are we just making color, right? 
the illusion of water comes from the overall painting that there's fish in this water colored background. Okay, now, and this is when, this is, I feel like I'm being very straight today. I don't know why, but usually I'm, I'm more diagonal, but this is when you're going to stick to a texture because whatever you do here, we have to do on that side and in here. So they match because it's one piece of water, right? So we're just going to go down the side and, and do you have to do it all like start, stop, start, stop. That'll make like a weird column. What if I do it more waggly than that? More um, like water. So I go long, short, medium, medium, long, short, medium, medium, weird, scribbly, scribbly, long, weird, beetle. <gasps> like I'm having a spaz attack. <laughs> Way more interesting to look at than just start, stop, start, stop. That's a box, right? So want to see me do it? I won't spaz. All right, I'll just kind of scribble. I just go long, long, short, medium, medium, long. And how soft am I doing it? Pretty soft because I'm just playing. I'm on the surface of the paint. I'm just floating. Big, long, 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 long short, 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 medium, long, 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 short, little bit, big, 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 this long, long, short, little bit, big, big, long. Uh oh, by the fin. Long, 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 short, short, long, 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 short, long, 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 short, long, long, long. So it's a little bit raggedy. Otherwise, it's just a box, you know, big long column, and I'm trying to make the edges a little bit ready. Who's got the side of the paintbrush idea? It's good for texture, right? The, the pointy part is a little bit mm, sharp. Now, like, a, like since we did that one already, when we do the next one, you just kind of overlap them, and they lay like like a zipper, and they just kind of like touch. Right? So I go, oh, the next row down, obviously, I'm going to have to fix by my, f I'll go back and fix that, right? But I'll go, okay, another row. Oh, I'm going to hit green. Slow down. Whoa. Long, short, medium, long, short, long, short. Another one. Long, short, medium, long, long, short. Long. Oh, look at green. It's just floating right there. I'm going to leave it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, just be a little bit, um, clever with yourself and just be like and there's definitely some green on your paintbrush right now can you just like pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and there just change the texture a little bit look a little perfect just kind of ruin it a little bit mm -hmm. there more interesting because if you keep rubbing and rubbing and rubbing what color is it turquoise very snorboard okay now i have to go back next to my fins with my paintbrush because look at I was afraid of hitting my fishy so oh, I gotta go back so I just do it the same I just do it a little tiny 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 and I just let the tip of my paintbrush I'm still using the side of my paintbrush but I'm sneaking up on it and go little wiggles little wiggles little tiny 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 because I'm going to put the fish on top of the water when we paint her so I'm not worried scribble the bottom there Look at those good pieces of globs of green. Nice. Okay, now check for 3D. Those of you who keep touching it. So do you have dark areas, medium areas, and light areas? Or did you touch it to all become one? Do you have blue areas, green areas, right? Hmm. hmm. Okay. And I feel like there's still a whole bunch of white on my paintbrush. And I'd like to go darker with the blue. So I need to get, because it keeps making baby blue. Um, I'm using a new white to me. A new company. And it's way more whiter than I'm used to. <laughs> I'm just figuring it's going to dry like last time and get darker. But I'm going to clean this off so I have to lick it. No! Look at y'all looking. You're dumb. Okay. No, I'm not. Jeez Louise. I just get a paper towel and I stick it in there. I don't use water because a one little drip of water going down across your paints erases it. You'd be very mad. So I just squeeze the paint out really fast and it all comes out and it's mostly all clean. I just want that giant booger of paint that's in there to get out. There. Now she's mostly out.
You could lick the paint, but it wouldn't kill you, but it'd be disgusting. <sighs> it's called non-toxic, because it means it can't kill you, but you won't like it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the sides darker blue, and we're not gonna visit green again, but I put blah, blah, blue down the side, and then I just start, I just cr uh, try to gently, gently float on top of that white and make it bluer. It will dry darker when it dries, right? Look at this one. Ooh, ooh, I was very aggressive with my, look at that, it's a blob of dark blue. Ooh, okay. And I also went big, small, little, little, big, small, little, right? So they're just, not. it's not a box, okay? So I'm going to get blue, and I stab my blue, stab! And I wipe it down the side. I probably have to do it twice, because I always run out at halfway. So I just wipe it off. Ew, get off my paintbrush. Okay, now I get more. Step. And blue. We did do it three times, huh? What? What, what? What took? And now we get to change. Okay, matching texture. For some reason, I'm very flat and straight today. I don't know. So I'm gonna stay with that. <laughs> and and I just, but I want I want the blue to hug the edge like a dark frame. So I keep falling off the page and pushing in, pushing out very softly. I don't scrub it into the white. I'm floating on top and but gentle. And I just want to make sure it has an interesting texture. Very gentle. Look how soft I'm holding my paintbrush. Ding, right? And I just go long, short, medium, long, 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 short, long, 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 short, short, medium, long, 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 short, long, 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 short, medium, medium, medium. But look at all the blue is mostly staying on the edge where I told it to. Now I look at, I have a big dark part. Should I go back and touch it and mix it in? No. How many color values for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. So if you have a dark piece of blue, you are lucky. It's not medium. Not, I feel like I want to touch the edge of that, what I just made. I feel it's a little wonk. I just want to... Just, just touch the edge a little bit. La, 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 just I'm just trying to ruin the pattern I made. Look at, I'm just going dash, dash, kind of, okay, blah, 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 Okay. Ooh, and sneak it up to my fins right there. Okay, soft. All right. Okay, just ruin it a little bit. La, la, la. So it's interesting. All right. Nothing perfect. Why am I so straight? Who's who's doing a slant? Oh, is everyone copying me? I don't know why I'm not. Usually I'm slanted every time. Okay, I'll stop talking about it. <laughs> I'm tripping. Okay, now I'm. I, I and who does anyone have any little white pieces? Little pieces of white that's sticking out. Dark, medium pieces of white. I I have one right there. But what if I accent it? But I have blue on my paintbrush, and I want to add a little bit of white. So I'm just going to give it a squeeze. Get a paper towel. Oh, I'm going to find a clean spot. Just give it a pinch. Squeeze. Pinch. There. Mostly all the blue comes out, because I just want to get a little bit more white. And we'll make a little white highlight, like the sun just glinted off the water. So I get a little poke of white. Just not a stab like I was mad. This time I just need some poke. A little gentle poke. And then, uh, none of this needs to be highlighted. I like how all that looks. That's all good. But maybe one little highlight in the middle part. Blah, blah, blah. And that looks really bad. So I'm obviously going to change it. That doesn't match the texture. So I just kind of want to ruin it a little bit. So the texture matches the rest of the water. But I want white to live. Live white. Live. So it looks shiny. So really gently, I just kind of go, blah, 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 slap, slap, like a slap his face. Like that, I just go tap, tap, pew, 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 oh, pew, 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 just, okay, there. I smeared it. It's a little bit, has a better t matching texture to the red, but I did it really soft, fast, pew, pew, okay. 
They slapped him like that, and then over there. And I'm not doing it like, it's a box, push, pull, push, pull, that'll make a box. So I'm like slapping it, like, okay. You can use my sound effects if you want, but I charge. Okay, now, now we get to the other side and we have a filthy paintbrush. So we totally add paint later. So it doesn't matter anymore. Right. And then, uh, uh, go like this. Look, watch. I see everybody look up. So don't you, don't make a box. Start, stop, start. Just kind of slap it and push it over there and then push it over there. And pew. so the edges are like, pew, pew. instead of start, stop, start, so they just kind of slap it. It's a texture thing. Yeah, that's interesting to look at. That's better than a box. Just kind of pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. Yeah. Okay, now we get to do the other side. Who thinks this side's going to be a thousand times easier? How come? Because we already did it. And once your brain does something on earth, you know it. Right? When the teacher shows you math, do you know math? No. When do you learn the math? When you do it. Right? So you heard me talk about blah, 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 and then nothing. Then you did it and we're like, oh, all right, I understand it. So how do we outline a fish with paint? We stab our white paint, stab! Get a huge amount, our paintbrush open, smash! And what do we stare at? One hair. How do we know that? Because we've done it. And watch how much better you'll be at it this time and faster because you trust yourself. So now I'm going to go, okay, so I smash my paintbrush this is up next to the fin. Smash! Now I can sneak. Push, push, push. Touching! Now once I'm touching, now I can push, push, and kind of a goober paint squirts out. And then it turned dry real fast. I must not have got very much paint. So I need, it needs to be thick because this is our outline. Step! And we're going to find halfway. At the bottom. We found halfway at the top, and now we found halfway on the bottom. Outline. Was that too easy? I know, right? As if. Of course that's how you outline. Why? Because we've done it before, and your brain went, tired? Go ahead and outline the other fish. Don't get behind. Look, everybody look. Remember the little highlight white we just did? Where does it end up? underneath the cherry tree okay so you don't have to like oh let me keep working on it and perfect it it gets covered up with a tree so don't think about it moving on to the other side outline the other side of the fish okay now what get the whole thing sopping wet with white who felt like they got enough white last time who got too much who got too little can you just make an adjustment Yep, this is earth. So you only learn by doing and adjusting. So I get my white step because I'm going to push it around. I got a huge amount. I don't care. And now I go, and what if I touch this green over here? So it's going to have green on this side too. They can touch. It's the same water. And then I can hear it get dry. Not enough paint. Step. I am definitely flat and straight. Oh, yeah, I wasn't going to talk about it anymore. Shh. I can tell it keeps getting dry. That is way too thin and dry. So I'm going to get more. Step. It sounds slippery when you get the enough paint. Can't hear it. And then as I go down and I start to run out, it can hear the scratch. No, I don't want that. Who's good at side of paintbrush now? I know, right? You were kept doing pencil. And then look how fast your brain learned that. Look how fast. What? As if you've been doing the side of side paintbrush your whole life. As soon as your brain learned something, got it. Thank you. Now I have to stick to straight and flat because I have to. It's the law. And then how do I tell if I painted it all wet with white paint so I can decorate it? I look at my light, or I go like this. 
reflect, oh, the corner. Reflection will tell me, oh, that corner too. What's with my corners? Okay. All wet. So we're decorating it. And if it's dry, did, did you even have not enough paint and yet the texture looked weird? Did you even have that? And you're like, what is with this weird texture? It's because there wasn't enough paint. So who thinks we're going to have to do it three times? Well, I don't, if we do, we do. If we put enough paint, we don't. We don't know. The paint will do aside for us, right? Because we're like, well, it depends on how it comes out. We learn by doing, so let's just find out. I'm just giving a tiny pause because some people were, were uh, working still on the, getting it wet with white, and I just don't want to go too fast. It's a tiny pause, tiny pause. Oh, don't be afraid to let your two halves touch. It's all going to be the same color, right? And just put that white paint on there. Scoop, and then move it around. Okay, you ready to decorate? Put some color, color. Okay, so it's just this one, other opposite side, not the middle. We'll save that, right? So we go, okay, so um, I get my green and I stab my green stab. I just go uh, a little bit everywhere. Remember that part? So I go, okay, there, 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 until no more comes off of my paper. I'm dropping it off so everywhere gets some. A little for you, a little for you. And then what's the other color we need? Exactly. Blue. There. Stab! Decorate. <laughs> oh, I'm going to let the blue touch my green area right here because I'm going to sew these two areas together anyway. Right? Drop off, drop off. And this is going to make the turquoise color that we like. And then we'll remember to do it again. Okay. So should we start on the far edge and go down? Or just start in the middle? How about if you decide? Right? However you want to do it. Uh, I'm just going to start in the middle. And then do them there in columns. Right? And it, the texture doesn't matter this time. Because uh, we touch it two more times. Right? So we're just... Zipping past everything, goodbye, I like that. So we just go, okay, I'll start in the middle, and I hit tail, then another row. Uh-oh, I gotta slow down, I'm near fish. But I never stay in the same place twice, more than a half a second, visiting and then moving. Okay, then I'm gonna do that on another row. Ooh, I have something interesting right there. I like that. I just touched everything one time real soft and I'm hoping to have a variation of color here and there. I even have pieces of white so I know that I add more color next so whatever. And is it the tip of my paintbrush or the side of my paintbrush? This side. Who's noted this is the difference already? Right? And then your all your brush strokes same. Matchy matchy. Remember, do not push hard with your paintbrush. We're floating on top of the paint. Almost like we never touch the canvas again. We're floating on the top of the paint. Woo, skim, skim, skim. Because you don't have to scrub them together anymore. Uh-oh, look, I didn't, I didn't get close enough to my fishy. I need to go and sneak up to fishy. Gentle, gentle, scribble, scribble. I want to make sure I'm okay. I got, I got it. All right, in the corner. Should we add some more? Cause that looks boring. It's not interesting like the other side. So now I can get green. Boom with the green. Step. Now where should it go? I don't know. I got a scoop of it, and maybe next to fish, and maybe another poke for the bottom. And you can have some too. Remember, we don't we don't want to touch our paint more than one time. We're visiting and moving on, visiting and moving on. If we keep going back and keep going back, basically you just make one color. 
We like the variations of color of just visiting a color and moving along, right? Now how about blue down the side, right? Okay, stab the blue. I'm going to scoop of it, right? And where does it go? Just drop it off on the edge. Bleh. Oh, yeah, halfway. I always have to get more stab. A blue. The other side is drying. Is it darkening? No, the first side. I can tell mine's getting darker. I was I was counting on that with that white paint. The company I always used to buy paint from went out of business because of COVID. So I had to find a new paint company. And I was like, what? So uh, my some of my colors are new to me. And I'm like, it's not behaving like I remember. But this is earth. So as soon as I learn to do it one time, how, how this color behaves, I'll know. Okay, now, I'm, ooh, I got blue in my paintbrush. Does that matter? Because I'll just make turquoise. So I'm going to start in the middle and sew these two worlds together. But you know what I'm afraid of? I'm afraid I'm going to go like this. Start, stop, start, stop, start, and make like a, what? It's going to be like a line down the middle. So go past the center line a little bit, like, because I do not want to see like, like a line where the two waters meet. So I just kind of go like a kind of like, little, little, down the middle. Have it, have it, have it, visiting. Okay, cro I'm crossing over both worlds. Okay, there. All right. Now you can't see that they touched at one time. <laughs> okay. I just, I was way, right in the middle. I went cross the middle so that nobody can see that they stopped right there. Okay. Now I can do uh, row after row after row and see what happens. Like, and do I want them like little boxes? Start, stop, start, stop. No. I'm a big little little big little big but small small big little little bit visiting with a bitch bubble little bitch bubble little 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 And then I go down the side. I don't care. Just using the side of my paintbrush. It's all about the interesting texture. Look how confident you are right now. Look how fast you're going. Look how much you don't care. Look at your texture is different. Look how much paint you got and you didn't even think about it. That's how fast your good human brain is. You have an excellent human brain. I'm gonna go back for more touches because I was a little bit, I was being too literal with my spazness. So I'm gonna <laughs> calm down a little bit. I have to sneak up to my fish. Oh, I have to sew them together on the bottom. Zip, 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 across the bottom. There. Okay. Oh, right there. There you go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who's getting good at this, right? Who's understands it, appreciates it? Is hmm, hmm. You're on more like is much, even though it's your hand doing it, you're going hmm, curious hmm, and you're like watching it hmm, you're full of wonder. Okay, now let's darken the edge again so it's more. Look at mine. I didn't even care. I don't, I don't care. I don't. I want some dark medium light. So I'm. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put some on the side. Okay. Like all aggressive about it, so I'm like, okay, I'm in my blue, and I'm gonna drop. It. Oh, I just threw paint on the floor. Didn't mean to do that. See, watch out. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay, down this side to make that nice dark frame, and then right about halfway, another nose scoopy. And this is when we just do the we we hug the side. We don't need to visit the rest of the water. We're staying real close to the side, like a frame. But then we'll go back and touch the edge of it so it's not a, we'll accidentally go like this because you're human. You'll go start, stop, start, stop. And it'll literally look like a square, a long rectangle. So we'll go and ruin the edge of it a little bit, a little bit. Were you generous? I know, right? So how soft are you? Right? I don't want to crush it into the white and make baby blue again. I already have that. So I'm going to go, all right, and it's only like two, three fingers big. It's not very big. I go long and short, medium, long, 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 short, medium, long, long, short. La, 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 la. And I fall off the page as I'm go. I just want to fall off the painting. Uh -huh. But look, at it looks like a box. It looks terrible. I'm all. Oh, look at it. We're going to go back and touch the edge. Because it looks so, it's ridiculous. But I let it be dark. 
I know I can touch the edge of it and help her scribble a little more, but I want that depth of blue along the edge. So I'm just gentle, gentle. So it's blue, blue, blue. Like that. And how soft are we? So soft. Floaty, floaty. We're blending. Blending. Blending is when two colors become new, right? Okay, now look at my ugly, ugly edge. Somebody trimmed mine with scissors. This is a bad. That is bad, right? So, with no more paint on my paintbrush, I'm just going to grab the edge of it and kind of like, kind of slap it. Like we did the white. Right? So I just go slap, 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 slap. I just grabbing the edge and kind of yanking on it and la la la, la 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 la. Just ruin it so it's not a perfect box edge anymore. Oh, I'm doing it again. Stop it. If you just go start, stop, start, stop the second time, you have a new box. So I'm trying to be like, I don't care. Let me, let me, let me just do a gentle scribble. There. Okay, just I just want to change the texture a little bit. La la la. La la la. Okay. Oh, across the top. I didn't do that. Okay. Look at it. I still look like I trimmed it with scissors. One more time. I'm going to do it slower. I, I was showing off by doing it. Okay, I'm just going to go and ruin that speck and ruin, just change the texture of that one spot and that one spot that I don't like. Okay, there. Better. I, would, I, I made a row again. Oh. And who thinks this side needs a little shimmer shine? A little sparkly sparkly. Okay. Um, near the fish. A little, oh, but I had my... If I go get white, I it's going to turn baby blue because my paintbrush is dirty. So I'm going to eat it for lunch. No, I just go squeeze the paint there so I can get a little bit of white. Smells like paint. Mm-hmm. Nothing but good times when you smell paint. Change the paint color of your room or painting something. It's always creative. Okay, now I need just a little, maybe just put it near a fishy tail. A little piece of white, a little, just not a stab of white, a poke. Poke. Poke the white, poke. Just some. Because I would like white to live, but I just go, pew, 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 right? And I'm going to put it by her tail. <laughs> a little shimmer shine. Water glint. I can't put it up here because that would be like two matching boxes, right? So I go down a little bit so they're not matching, right? And like they're, they're even. So I'm gonna go, okay, let's just slap it. And let's go push and shove and shove and push and push and shove. Just change her texture a little bit, but she lives. Okay, now it's just a little bit more white right there, like that. A little bit of water shimmer. A little something, something. Who felt easier doing that water shimmer? You trusted yourself. You knew what was going to happen. You could predict how the paint was going to behave. Right? You went, oh, as long as I do it soft, it just stays right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can do the middle fishy. We saved it for last because of all its bumps and lumps. Right? But now we're good at outlining. Right? I don't have to use as much paint because it's a small area. So I just stab my white and go, all right. Ride the roller coaster on the inside. But I stay touching the water the whole time and sneak up to a fish. So I just go smash and sneak. And row. Did you know why we always outline? Because you have a human brain. It's your parents' fault because they're human. But you outline something and your brain will protect it and it put on the brakes before you pass the outline. It's a human brain thing. I know, Trip. Okay, now I have to get between the, the, the fish's nose and her tail. It's a tight fit. I'll go slow. Okay, did it. Drive my car around. Push. Who's really good at this now? I know you are. Mm-hmm. Because you already did it. Your brain is most excited when it's doing something new and hard. And I want you to check your emotions because when we do this middle part, you'll actually think it's boring. 
your brain is most excited when something's new and difficult, and then your brain slows down and goes, so, who cares? I already know how to do this. And so you'll be like, doing the middle one was boring and fast. You're like, weird. Now I get white paint, and I just fill it in, scribbly, 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 scribbly. can't see it, but mine's all shiny. My checking. Shiny. And remember, who, whatever, what angle are you doing yours at? Whatever angle you did on one side and the other side, we have to match in the middle. I tell you this because I've seen people go side to side, then in the middle go up and down. It doesn't look like it's the same piece of water. Okay? So whatever texture you chose for the side, matchy, matchy time. Okay? And then, how do we make our turquoise? Green pieces and blue pieces. But this is a smaller space, so we don't need a stab of green. We just need a poke of green, right? So I just need some. So I just poke my green poke, and then I drop it off. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Okay, and then, blue. Poke my blue, blue. Uh -huh. And then, where should I put blue? Wherever green is not. There, 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 there. Oh, maybe between the nose and the tail. I went slow because I was scared. And then what do we do? La, 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 la. But you're going to be scared of turning your fishes, right? But we outlined them. So after we do our rows, then you just go up and real gently and sneak up to them and just barely touch the fish, right? We've done this. We know this. So we just go, oh, right. But I, I'm worried about this in between my fishes. I'll do that last when I have a nice turquoise paintbrush. So I'll save that. But I go blah, 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 like a little row and I'm visiting and I never stay in one place for one half a second. I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving and I fall off the bottom. Because look, at, I already have interesting colors and you're jealous. They didn't stop anywhere and visit or do it twice. I just let it be. Now I'm going to go closer to the edges. Slow down. A little turquoise in my paint. Right, right, right. And how come you can start and stop this easy? Because you learned how to hand write and control hand and eye movements already. Since you were a baby. You have been mastering the ability to get your hand to start and stop. As commanded. Do you have a good human brain? Oh, oh wait. I, now I have the turquoise in my paintbrush. I could visit in between the face and the tail. You guys want to hear something funny? I told my Alexa to bark like a dog. And I freaked out my dogs. And then I told Alexa to meow like a cat. And then Alexa said that she's a box of cats. And every time you say meow, she makes a new, another meow. Ah, my dogs were so freaking out. They were running around like, cat, cat. Hilarious. I'm sorry, I had to tell that story because I can hear my dogs right now. <laughs> oh, they're little. They're little. Okay, so who can see how much lighter that is than the other two sides? Right? So we're like, oh, okay, we definitely need to decorate. So we'll get green stab and we'll just put... Green on one side, blue, and then blue on the other side, blue. Maybe more blue, I don't know. That seemed light. There. Like yin and yang, but you know they're gonna touch, right? And then they'll probably touch and make turquoise. So, this just blah, blah, blah. I, I don't even have to say words. How much you wanna bet? If I'm completely silent, it's very hard for a teacher. You guys will be able to do this by yourself. So I will be quiet and you do it. You do it. Very hard to be quiet. 
I think people become teachers because uh, they're so arrogant. They need to hear themselves talk all the time. <laughs> Just kidding. I know it's a problem with me. Oh, let me tell you about this and tell you about that. And I won't shut up until I see my friend make a face. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. No, you go. I stopped talking. Okay, now that I made my two scribble lines, and then I, I want to make sure I, they look like two boxes. So I'm going to kind of ruin the middle a little bit. There, so sew them together. But now my turquoise paintbrush, I'm going to get near my fish. Little scribbles. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you have any dark pieces, light pieces, medium pieces? Did it all turn one color? Do you have, have that, some interest? Oh, and down here, let this world touch that world. Like, go, oh, I'm in the middle, and then down here. I think I just touched the fish's face. Oh, fix it. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't really watching. And then look at this drawing, and it's changing. Dark, medium, light. Okay, we just did that. Boom. Okay, let's go home. Done. Now, if this was oil paint, oil paint takes five days to dry. So you would, because it doesn't actually dry, it doesn't evaporate. It does a chemical reaction and makes a bond with the with the chemicals in it. So we would we would never be able to let two colors touch. But right now, your the edge of your fish, because we did it first, is all dry. Nice. Oh, but we have to put our stick on there so that the stick is dry by the time we put our blossoms on there. Otherwise, we'll have gooey brown blossoms, right? So we could put this paintbrush down. Thank you for your service, but we don't need you anymore. Goodbye. So get out of here. Now we can, now, but we'll use our little uh, yellow paintbrush. Where'd mine go? Oh, there she is. And I'm going to show you something really cool, probably nobody has shown you yet, is how to make trees and plants look more real. So, uh, find your brown. Oh, you can put your lid on your white for now. And your blue. we'll use white again. But I don't think we need blue and green anymore, huh? I like putting the lids on there because I don't want them to dry out. So I can use them for another, maybe paint rocks. Or something. I don't know. Something fun. I lost the lid to my green. Oh well. Too bad green. Okay, so I get my brown. Boop. And look how dark she dries. Like, oh, look at that milk chocolate. She dries very, very dark. Because all paint colors darken as they dry. Right? So I'm gonna get I'm gonna show you how trees are. And this is like a miniature lecture, but it's really just for your, uh, from now on, you'll never make ugly trees, okay? So when you were little, I bet you made a tree like this, like you made the trunk and then you made a branch and a branch, like that, right? And you're like, I have a tree, and then you make that fluffy top for a, uh, was that too bright? You make a fluffy top for the tree top, right? And you're like, we know that's not right. And we don't know why that's not right because it's making this Y, this, this Groot, there's the head and there's the body, right? And we're like, no, because trees never let their branches touch. That would be a weak area. They actually grow in a spiral like this, right? So how does a spiral look in two, in two dimensions? It looks like this. So I go, I, I actually hold my paintbrush upside down. So when I first smash my paintbrush, it goes whoop. And as I pull it up, it gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier all by itself. So I go smash up and it gets skinnier and skinnier and skinnier all by itself. Because how come? That's what nature does. My arm attached to my body is thick all the way to fingernails, right? So I upside down paintbrush smash and it opens. And then I pull and it gets skinnier and skinnier as I pull for no reason. I don't know why it does it, but it just does, right? Now watch my branches. So can I put right across the bottom and put another Y and ruin it? No, 
I go like this. I go a branch, but I can't put another branch right next. I have to go higher up on the stick and put another one and then go higher up and put another one and go higher up and put another one. It's a spiral. Well, where do twigs go? Well, twigs would go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. What? You want to see a whole tree? Watch this. A whole tree in one second. So it's always thickest at the trunk, right? So then I go smash and I pull. <gasps> it's not straight. Is that bad? No, it's a tree. And then I'm going to give it a branch. Branch, branch, branch. Do I let any of them touch at the base and make a V? No. Huh. Well, then how about have a, a twigs? I just do it softer so my paintbrush doesn't open. I go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left. And I could put another one. Woo! More paint. To the right, to the left, to the right, to the right, to the left, to the right. It's a tree! So you never seen that pattern before. Now you know. You'll never make a Groot. Because they can't touch. Right? Where they, where they branch off. Okay? So who's ready to see that? Oh. Hold on. So now we're going to make one branch. And we're just going to do it from the top and go, Ree! but she goes across. And I put one above, one below, one above. And then a twig for you, a twig for you, below, above, below, above, the end. Not hard. Okay, so watch. So where's the branch at? It's like three fingers from the side, right? I don't have to touch my painting. I just measure, right? And then her branch is like two fingers thick to start, okay? So I go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just try so I get, oh, I'll get a goober, a lot of brown paint because I have far to go. All right. So it's, I don't want to touch it, but it's like three fingers. What if I just put a dot at the top where I'd like my branch to start? Dot. Okay. I was three fingers from the side. Dot. Just so it's not touching. That's all. It's not like a, a real measurement, like, right. And then it's two fingers wide. So if I float my fingers with a dot on one side of my finger, then I could just go, all right, that's hard to float my hand over this. That was hard because I wanted to touch my painting, but it's two fingers wide at the branch. Oh. Huh. So it starts off all thick and strong like a tray. Because koi fish and the uh, cherry blossoms are uh, good luck in Japanese culture, right? This one's about. So now we're going to make the branch and it comes to a point like an ice cream cone, but she's pointing at her tail. So it's a crooked ice cream cone. So I just go uh, down and down. Oh, like a crooked V and it's pointing at her tail, right? What? It's too far away. So I go, okay, here's her tail. And I just went, uh, point at the tail, point at the tail. All right. It's not real because we're going to paint over this. We just want its thickness and its direction. And that could just get brown and fill it in. Dirt. Blah, 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 blah. But it wasn't very long, huh? It's just a little ice cream cone. Like a V. But my branches go from thick to thin, right? Well, I need to put some branches on there. How am I going to get it to be thin, right? Is I do it gently. So as I'm, I pull, I actually, I don't hold it like a pencil. Cause look, everybody look, if I hold like a pencil, my paintbrush will what? Open like this and be the same thickness the whole time. So it's not, I actually pull my paintbrush like this and I drag the side of the paintbrush. That makes sense. I hold it, not a pencil. This will go bleh, the same thickness the whole time. So I pull, I just pull. Right? So I'm going to stab my brown because I have very far to go. So I stab! Globule! <laughs> right? I don't care. And I'm trying to go off the side of the painting. and I don't want to be near the, t the tail or anything. So I just, 
I, I'm going to fall off the end. And what if it has a few bumps in it? Good. It's a stick. If your arm's a little bit wonky, good. It will look more natural. So I just go, I'm pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm getting close to the end. Let go, let go, do it softer, softer. Let go, let go. The last second. Let me do it closer so you can see. Watch this. I went smash, right? Because it's nice and humongous. And I let it smash. And then I pull and pull and pull. Uh-oh, I'm getting close to the end. I don't want it near the edge. Slow down. Do it softer. Do it softer. I'm as soft as ever. I could barely feel it. <gasps> Came to a point. Now you do it. Look at mine has a little a few little wonks in it because it's a branch. How long is it? I don't know, ish. But we don't want to touch our fishes. Right? Because we need to paint our fishes and the brown will get in our fish. Okay, now let's put some some branch, some twigs on there. So I stab my brown. Stab. Now let's go up uh uh going they're parallel. Do you know the word parallel? Right? They go um, along next to each other without crossing. So they just go, mm hmm, right? So I jump out and I'll just go parallel. I can make it longer or shorter. Who cares? I just smash. So she starts off really, oh, let me be closer. Sorry. I smash really humongous fat. <laughs> and then I start pulling. Oh, I got a little wiggle. Oh, and then I let go, let go. Oh, stop. I don't want them to be the same length. That would be a fork. Longer or shorter, but not matching. And then it's all dry in places. I could just drive over it again. I don't care. And I just do it very gentle at the last second. And I went from thick to thin because I pulled my paintbrush. Well, who, who's going like this and holding like a pencil and you can't get yours to get skinny? And you just go, Bleh! it's all one thickness. No, we put, we pull. We pull it so it will end on the very on the very tip. Okay, now let's give that some twigs. So maybe one hangs down and she's pointing at fishy face. So I'll go, oh, wait, I can't do it there because that would be one of those, oh, I better do it way back here at the top. And I just go, and I'm kind of pointing down-ish. Oh, look at my fish. It's pointing. But I'm not straight or anything. No, I need, I'm a little bit waggly. A little bit waggly. Okay, now let's give that twigs. So stab your brown. And then, do you remember how to make twigs? But it's on its side. So if it was up, it'd be to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. But it's on its side. So I go above, below, above, below. But I always go further down the stick. Further, 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 further. I keep traveling. And they're just little. So how if I want them little, how hard do I push on my paintbrush? Here's it gently. I just, ba I just barely, I won't feel it very much. It won't push back it'll be very gentle so i just go all right let's try the top row so i go one above oh i did that so soft you're jealous of me right now above then below then above oh i made it longer no, i don't care above below above i just did soft we're gonna put bl bl blossoms on these so if they're ugly we cover them with flowers so don't care okay now i can do the other branch Above, below, above, below. So anything I hate, I put a flower on it. How soft are you? How teensy did you get your paintbrush? So delicate. And then the very last one. Um, up, up, above, below, above, there. But I don't want to touch a fish. So that's right. That, how did we do that? Because we we know the pattern is to never have two branches touch. They always go above, below, above, below, to right, to left, to right, to left, but they never touch because it's a spiral. Okay? And even if you look at a branch with leaves on it, a leaf will be coming out the top, then it'll be coming out the side, then it'll become, but it's always like moving along. And even apples will be here and then there and there and there and there, but never in, they, don't, they look like they're in a straight line, but it's a spiral on the branch. 
Okay, now I can clean our paintbrush. Just give it a nice hard pinch. I'm going to get a clean paper towel because that one was ruined. And that brown stick will dry while we're doing fishes. Okay, now we're going to do our fishes. And um, we just uh, outline them. And I'm not afraid of having my fish slightly over the top of the water when I outline them because the fish is in front, right? On top of the water. So I don't like, oh, let me protect the water from the fish. No, the fish can be like, get out of my way, I'm on top. So I'm gonna get the white paint and just do one fish. How come? Because our paint will dry by the time we visit the other fish. That's just how it is. So I stab my white paint, stab! <laughs> And I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna outline my fish and do this background, but leave the orange holes for now. Okay, so I get my paint. How do I outline a fish with paint? I land in my fish, smash, so I can see that one hair touching the water. It's a little bit of a brown shadow on it. Totally coolio, because we add um, yellow to it. Oh, turn the corner. And I don't want to look at my pencil. Anyway, pencil is lame. So I could buy a pencil. And now all that ratty edge on your fish that you hated, gone. But I have to go slow because I'm outlining, right? I'm just, I get a glob of paint. Why? Because the more paint on my paintbrush, the smoother the edge when I outline. Remember that? So weird. Glob push. Round, turn the corner. I'm just driving my car. Bye, pencil. Nice. And if there's any brown in it, it's like a shadow. You're like, yeah, I meant to do that. Whatever. And then once you outline your fishy, can we outline the orangey part? Because how come? After you outline something, your brain will protect it. So I just get my um, my uh, white paint and I go, okay, let me outline the parts that are going to... Oh, is this really the shape of the orange thing? Pause and look up. No. It's ish. We're going to make it all scribbly. The edge is an idea. It's just an idea of where the spots might be, right? They look like smeary messes. So don't be like, oh my God, it has to be perfect. No, it doesn't. Okay. I just go around them ish. They're going to be sort of shapes. I'll drive my car. Around the corner. I'm less scared of these because I know I paint to make them all crazy scribbly. You just get paint, go. Get paint, go. Who's Who just stabs their paint and starts painting? You don't even think about how much paint to get anymore. Look at that. Look at you. And then you totally trust yourself outlining. You're like, yeah, I know. I know, lady. Be quiet. I already know how to do this. And then we can paint in the bit and all the uh, the white parts, right? That are going to be white, all and fill it all in, just like when we did the water. I'm just going to get all wet with white so I can add yellow. You want to see? It's white, and then I add yellow and scribble it in, like that. Okay, so I get my white, and I just go, all right, fish. Scribbly, 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 scribbly. Do I really care about the edge near the orange thingy? No. But I don't want to go outside the edge of my fish. I don't want a furry fish. So I totally trust myself now. Like I just went outside the lines just now. <laughs> right after saying that, I went outside the lines. Now my fish is going to be have a big tail. <gasps> Some people like that. Okay, now I get to add yellow. Can you find your yellow? Don't spend too much time outlining. We already have the shape. We nailed it. 
right? So I go, okay, yellow. And we're going to drop off the yellow in little pokes, kind of like we did um when we did the, um when we dropped off green and blue and made turquoise. But I just need some. I don't need a bunch. Just go poke some. And I just drop it off in what's going to be that white part. And I go, you can have some, you can have some, 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 some. You can have some, and down the sides can have some. There, that looks for Dunkless. She's got chicken pox. Maybe she has freckles. So what's the only part that we have to protect? Not the inside shapes, who cares? It's the outside. We want the outside of our fish to be smooth. Right? So I go, oh, so I'm always smooth around the edges. And then I can go scribbly, scribbly inside the fish. Because each little scratch on the fish is like the scales. The texture is interesting. And we can use the tip of our paintbrush. It's a little bit sharper, but it makes good texture. Or you could use the side of your paintbrush, whatever. It's You get to decide based on texture. So now I'm going to scribble in that that yellow, but I do worry about the edge. So I'm just gonna go, okay, well, uh -huh. so, whoa, okay. As long as I'm near the water, I slow down. And then scribble, 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 who cares? And then I'm near the water, slow down, okay. Whoa, I go slow, near the water, and then go fast when I'm near the globs, the orange shapes. Do you guys know that these are $5,000 fish? These are called Crown fish. Both of these fish, and I like the different, who got different textures? Look at, I got extra yellow there and kind of thin yellow there on purpose. 3D. So these are called crown fish because they both have a spot on their head. Right on the top of their head, right on the top of their head. Those are called crown fish and they're like five grand and up, but the cats and the hawks still eat them even though it's $5,000 in your pond. But this one is uh, super special because it's two crown fish. And who got some interesting yellows? Baby yellow and dark yellow. That's right. And I just pick it up and drop it off. And I'm just kind of scribbly about it because I like the texture now. And I'm not all freaking out about the texture. I like it. Now let's put a little bit of blue, just a tiny bit, for a shadow. Just a, 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 a blue, a little speck, okay? I just, it might make green, but it's just a ton, ton, ton a bit for a shadow. So look at me. Everybody pause and look up. I know you're busy, but I'm going to get blue, but it's not. Eh. Okay, that I just, I can get more, but I'm afraid when I drop it off, it'll be a huge amount, so I can just get a Back. And then I'm gonna drop it off where near the near near maybe near the fin. Hello, uh, oh, near the edge on the fin, and maybe on the edge of this fin. Oh, now I need a speck more. Look at it's just a tiny tiny little string, a little string, and maybe just a teensy tiny. Oh, I need another speck. A tiny tiny speck. <laughs> that was I did it so tiny you'd be proud of me. And maybe some near the tail. Okay, that's all. Shadow. And then do I leave it there looking like a string? No. But I'm gonna keep it near the edge. Near the edge, right? I'm just gonna smoosh it in a little bit. So I just go and scribbly scribbly near the edge, near the edge, scribbly scribbly. Okay, and scribbly. And scribbly the other side. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. And I just give it permission to be a little bit of a whoosh whoosh. Whoosh whoosh. And then a little bit, oh, a little bit of shadow. Oh, I wasn't very careful just then. I just got it in my water. Let me wipe it off with my finger. Okay. I was looking at the at the camera at the end. I messed up. Okay, there. It's just a little bit of shadow, right? It's not. I scribbled it, so it's not a perfect line anymore. All right. Now we get to do the um the um uh the spots, and we put yellow in the spots with our dirty little paintbrush, and we go, oh, you know I'm gonna hurt the edges, so? So I just get yellow and be like, scribbly, 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 fill it in yellow. Oh, that's too dry, a little speck more. 
And then I'm gonna get, oh, where's my, do you see the two oranges? Or no, one's pink. There's supposed to be an orange in there. She looks red. Oh, mine's all dried out. Ew. <gasps> Disgusting. I'm gonna use my stick and try to stir it and wake it up. I think air got in it. What is wrong with you, orange? It looks red. It looks red. Not pink. Not pink. See the diff, right? One's pink and one's this reddish orange. But when you mix this reddish orange with yellow, it turns orange, right? Not orange. I had to stir mine with my stick because mine turned disgusting. Okay, now it's better. All right, because I only need a little bit. Now I have to lick off my stick. No! Let's use paper towel. Okay, now I'm gonna put like uh, two pieces of um, of red on there, but I'm just gonna poke, poke my uh, orange. I don't know if it's red or orange. <laughs> Stab, like that. And I'm gonna put uh, the red on one side, like this, and then whatever's left on the other side of the spot. But I'm not leaving it like that. What if some, some, some orange gets in my yellow? I don't care. But is it really a stripe or is it a scribbly spot, right? So I just go, okay, let me do this big swash, big stripe first. <laughs> rough it up, rough it up. And each little scribble, even the scribbles that have touched the white, they're little, they're little. Look how little I'm being. Because I'm a scale. I'm a scale. I'm tiny scribbles. All right. Oh, the edge is too smooth. Let me rough it up. Rough up the edges, the edges. Okay. They were too smooth. It's supposed to be a spot, not a, not a circle. And then now I'm going to go visit the, the, the baby stripe. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. There. Rough up the edges. Bye edges. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So they're ugly. They're not, it's not a thing. It's interesting to look at. We could even get yellow and put it on top of the orange like this. Watch me, everybody pause and look up. <gasps> Mine came out really red. What if I go pshh? And then just go blah, 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 blah. Oh, now how many color values do I have? Dark, medium, light. So I go, oh, my pure yellow will be my light. And I didn't mix it in all the way. I just gave it permission to be kind of mm, whatever. Now let's do, now let's clean our paintbrush and do the bottom spot. But since you've done the top spot, who thinks the bottom, oh wait, I forgot about brown. The shadow on this side is brown, so I need a speck of brown. Let me show you on the original. So on this side of the fish goes a little dirty brown, a little dirty brown. A little dirty brown on that side, a little dirty brown on that side. It's like the shadow over here. So I just go, oh yeah, and I have to do it while it's wet. So I just go, pink, a little piece of brown. And you just pick one side and then scribble it in so it's a little bit sh shadowier. <gasps> I just made the edge smooth. I had it all cool and rough. I have to go back and ratty up the edge again. There, it's too pretty. Ooh, okay, now it's darker. Because how many color values for 3D? A little bit of brown, but darker. Okay, now I can clean my paintbrush and get yellow. And let's do this bottom one. So it's yellow, a piece of orange in it, then a piece of brown in it. Easy. So I get yellow. And I just go... And am I worried about how what its real shape is? No. I never met these fish. I don't know what their spots are. I don't know. I'm making it up. There. Nice rough edges, not smooth. Because smooth is boring and, I don't know, looks like a, one of my polka dots or something. Who's just throwing the paint on there and having fun and watching it? We already know they're going to be fish because it's fish shape. So we're just decorating. Okay, now I'm going to get some of that reddish, that red, and I stab it. I'm going to run it down just one side of it, and I just go, whee! Oh, 
But how many color values of this red do I root for? Three. There'll be dark orange pieces, orangey yellow pieces, and I think yellow's going to live. I don't have to touch all the yellow. I like the yellow. So I just go, I change her texture though. So I just go scribbly, 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 scribbly. I make sure my edges are interesting and rough and not smooth. See, the scribbly texture is interesting. Looks like fire. And then where's the brown go? A little tiny, tiny, tiny speck of brown. It was a shadow on um, this. Whatever side you put that brown on goes on the, the same side. So it's like a shadow. So I just drop it off. It's like a boogie. Right? And then should I leave it like that? No. But I'm doing it rough and scribbly so that it has good texture. And it's, and I, because last time I went smooth like that, I just made it look bad. Because it doesn't match the texture, right? I give it permission to have dark parts, medium parts, light parts. Now we get to put uh, fish freckles. And we just cleaned our paintbrush to a point so we could put fish freckles. Let me show you my two fishes. So they have little fish freckles on their faces and then down their spine. And then a few little fish freckles near their tail. Like that. So how do you do that? You just... You just don't, you want to do it very, very, I clean it, I'm making it very pointy and I just do it very soft. Ding, 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 ding. You know what I like? When I get the paint at first, they start off, whoops, dropped it again. They start off really thick and as I run out of paint, they get skinnier and skinnier and I like that. It is so that each one is slightly different. So it's a big blob because I just got it and then less, 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 less. You want to see me do it? First, let's put some freckles on her face. So I'm just going to. I'm going to hold my cup so I can keep getting more paint. And then I just put, should they all be like in a, they, they're like in a little cir circle, like a little freckles, right? So I just go, ah, little freckles. They're not eyes. The eyes are actually down on the sides of their face. You can't see them from looking at the top of them. So freckle, freckle. That's all. Okay, maybe a few more. Maybe softer, softer, softer. Look how small I got mine. You're so jealous. You're so jealous right now. I just do it so soft. And then maybe down here by her tail, she can have a few sets of freckle. All right, so I just go, I don't know. Right here, boop, boop, boop. And then maybe boop, 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 boop. I'm kind of putting them on the yellow because the orange is already, you know, plenty dark. Little bit. There. I'm a little kind of freckle. Okay. And then now down her spine, right down the middle. Ding, 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 like that. So I just get my, I'm going to hold my brown again. Can I hold it closer so you can see? So I'm going to go right down her back. Ding, 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 ding. And then that starts to run out of paint. Excellent. And then I get more. And it'll be very dark. And then I go, boop, 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 soft, 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 soft. And then it runs out of paint. Perfect. So they start off very dark. And as I keep going, I run out of paint until they become invisible. All the way down her tail. Look at how tiny they got as I ran out of paint. So tiny. Okay, now that we did one fish. Who thinks the other fish is going to be easier? I know. Because we done that one. And it came out alright. Right? It's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. It's fish-like. So what's our goal when we paint? Uh, the, the shape, the color, the texture. Yeah, looks like a fish. Alright, we did it. So this other one, we and do we have to protect all these little spots all perfect now that we understand it? No, the spots are ish. Right? They're, they just are trying to tell you we're short. Look at mine all blended together. Oops. I don't, what? Who cares? 
I don't know these fish. I'm not, you know, I'm not their mom. I don't, right? So I go, oh, oh, so, oh, yeah. They're just little, little box. They're like, oh, they're triangles, aren't they? Okay. All right. Okay, so I outline my fish. So I get my white outline. Who already knows what to do? Do you even need me? You don't need me. You just go. I'll just keep talking. So I get the white. And I'm going to outline fishy. So I just go inside the fish, smash, push. Who's already good at this and understands it? I know. That is what a good brain you have. You just understand things and then you just go. And you're like, yeah, as if I've been doing this my whole life. Because once your brain has a success, it owns it, grabs it, keeps it. But it doesn't last very long. I have to stop every every inch or so and get more paint. And I am letting my white touch my water. Because the fish is in front of the water. On top of the water. Come here. Now I just go around them spots. And just go. And I'm not careful about it. I don't even care. So I go triangle, triangle weird shape. Triangle. And it just happens to be this is how the koi was in the picture. So I just like copied that they were triangles. I don't know. It could be circles. And then the spot on the head that makes them worth five thousand dollars. Remember how I had to outline mine in Sharpie so you guys could see it on camera? I hate it because my Sharpie shows through. Whatever. I don't care. I do care. Okay, so now I'm going to fill in the, the whole, uh, bu bu uh, everything that isn't a spot is going to be white. And I add yellow to it. So I just stab my white. And scribble, 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 push, 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 push. All I do is slow down where I'm near the edge. But because I outlined it, I know that my brain won't let me go past an outline. Because I have a human brain, thanks to my parents. Okay. What if you were a bee? When you hatched, you would only know how to do bee things and no learning. That would be so boring. Just we'd come out and we already know everything. What if you wanted to learn uh, how to control your anger? What are you going to need a lot of? Somebody to make you angry so you could practice with them. That is so weird. So thank your siblings because nobody makes you more full of rage than your siblings, right? Or your spouse or your mother-in-law, right? So you say, thank you so much for letting me practice my anger with you. I'm getting so much better because of you. I'm a much more rational person because we practice together all the time. But who, who do you want to, uh, who, who do you like to do joy with? Do you guys practice joy all the time? You probably revisit the same people who are really good at joy, right? And you master your joy with certain people. Not everybody. Okay, now I got mine all scribbly wet, except for my spots. And now it needs some yellow. So I stab my yellow, boop, and put polka dots of yellow. Pokety, 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 pokety. This is when I end up covering up one of my spots because I get all wild. <laughs> And then mix it in. And you know what I'm going to root for? Some areas will be darker yellow than other areas. And I give it permission to do that. So it's interesting. So her tail, scribbly, scribbly. And I just keep traveling just like when I did the water. No stopping, no visiting. I just let it, oh, just smear a little yellow here and there for interest. The yellow looks so good against the turquoise. I'm having my reflection because the sun's going down. It's changing my 
can't see good. My window light is gone. There, now I can see. Okay. Scribbly, scribbly. And then, and then maybe some shadow. It was blue, remember? Just, just maybe near the fins a little bit and maybe the tail. So how much blue is that? <laughs> Boop. I worry because it's too much. It's just like calm down, right? What if I put a few little uh, d uh, number ones on her tail like that, right? I'm going to touch that more. That looks bad. But just to drop it off on her tail. And then maybe, oh, let me get another speck. It's very hard to get. Okay, there. And then maybe a thin, 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 thin side, side there. That's all. That's all she needs. That's it. Just little specks. Looks like kind of much keep it really close to the edge where the fins are. Just with a tiny bit of shadow. Right? And then here's everybody pause and look up. I, and I just want to show you this. I'm going to pick up that blue and just make more stripes. I don't have to get more blue. I just touch that blue, swipe and pick it up and drop it off and pick it up and drop it off. And now I have streaks. Yay. Oops. Looking at the camera is not helping me. Okay, there. And then smash it in near the fin. Near the fin, just smash it in, drive your car along the edge, and you hit a blue thing. Around. Oh, I just want to keep going in the water. You cannot paint and look at the camera. It just does not work. Okay, there. I just mushed it in, and it just it's going to darken when it dries. But I just mushed that in. I just drove it in around near the fins. Oh, there's a piece. Let me get it. Now I can paint in all my spots yellow. And the little triangle things ish, right? So I just go, oh, okay. There's one there, and there's one there, and there's one there. Oh, more paint. And there's a thingy there, a thingy there. And then the good spot on our head. La, 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 la. Nice rough edges. No, it doesn't have to be smooth. The idea of a spot. It's not an actual spot. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like there's a big hole right here. I'm gonna put another one. I don't know. There's a big spot right there. This one extra. And then get some um, red. So and look at mine. Sometimes I was super thick with the red, and sometimes invisibly with the red. Right? So, and I don't know what this stripe is supposed to be. I think it's an accident, so don't look at it. But I go, I just go, okay, let me, let me try. I, I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I stab my red and I just start dropping it off in the spot. So, uh, you can have some and you can have some and you can have some and some. And then I think I need more. There. And remember they're triangle-ish. And if they end up touching, remember this one that I showed you where they all ended up mushing together like you didn't even notice. So if they all ended up touching, so I don't know this fish. It's not a portrait, right? So I just go, okay, now let's see what kind of version of red we get. And we, they're a nice rough edges, nothing smooth. And I just go, oh, and then, Okay, that's no longer a triangle, whatever. I feel like I want to add more red. I don't know. Mine just turned orange. What the heck? I'm not in love with it anymore. Hmm. I don't like it. Let me go and rough up the edges. Maybe it's too perfect. I'm gonna. I'm just going to touch the edges of my spots. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, you're, you're two dumb spots. Okay. Scribble on them. Scratch at the edges. They're still too. They're not. That's not enough red. It just turned orange. I don't like it. I'm gonna add more. And this time I'll let them be like little, little um, red smooshes. 
Okay. A little extra. A little extra. And then this one has fre freckles too. Do you know why I went back and put more red? Because I, when I'm looking at these two fish, when I made these, one had more red than the other one. And I like the more red one. So that's why I did it. Like if it comes out lighter, it still looks good. But one of them I was jealous of because it was more red. Now I need that little bit of brown down the side. So I get a little poke of brown and I just go, oh, just dirty up. Remember how it was on that side? So I just go, okay, uh, brown dash, brown dash, brown dash, brown. And I just I like, oh yeah, so that oh, one side of it's slightly darker. And I squish that in. A little brown thingy, brown thingy, brown thingy. Scribbly, 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 scribbly. A little. Just for interest. Because how many color values for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. Are you being creative with your shapes? Blah, 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 right? Do you know when you make the decision yourself how it's going to be? That's art. Sometimes it's learning the skill, right? That's not art. That's, you were just doing something to understand it. Then you get to a point where you understand it enough that you can use those skills to make a decision that's art. I'm putting mine like this. Boom, turns into art. It went from skill to art. But it has, you have to have the skill first, which is the annoying, boring learning part. Okay, now I'm gonna make those little freckles and make my paintbrush super pointy. Okay. And she has little packets of freckles all over, but she doesn't have anything down her back. Okay. So they're just like little, little packets. So, um, like little sets, like boom, 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 by her face, by her, right? And they're like little, little, uh, freckle circles. I don't know. So I just do it softly with the tip. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. And I'm just putting little freckle packets near her face. And then when I run out of brown, then they're super tiny, and I kind of like that. Look at the freckles. Look at you go. Poo, poo, poo. How come this fish was easier? Because we've done a fish. And you were so much more confident. And you put your paint on like a boss. And you just went boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I know. That's how it goes. Because you've done it before. Now all we have to make is uh, uh, the flowers. Right? And to make flowers, we just literally stab and our paintbrush will open like this, like that, and it'll be really pretty. But you can't go soft like this, puke, 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 because it'll just be little circles and it'll look bad. Let me show you. I went like this. Smash, 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 smash. But that's how I, get. I first I put pink, then I put white on it, and I'm rooting for white, and the baby pink shows up by accident. So I go, I put the, all the pink, dots right and then I go why 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 and baby pink's an accident but I want to show you something so where's my pink remember this is right so I'm going to show you how they live this is how blossoms live they don't live on the stick they live around a stick Okay, and there's the far, the closer you are to the, the thick part of the tree, the bigger the puff. Okay, so by the time we're on the end of a twig, you put a little tiny onesies. Okay, so what? So I get my pink, I just stab it, and I go, there's like a set of five. One, two, three, four, five. See how it was around the stick? And then as I go up the stick, then I go uh, another, and they could touch. It's not like they're scared of each other. I just go one, two, three instead. 
Then I go further down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, then one, two, then one, Tana, 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 just born. Because I haven't opened yet. And I'm gonna do another one. One, two, three, four. Okay, then I go one, two, three, then one, two, then one, one, one. The little onesie baby ones goes on the tips. And then one, two, one, two, then one, 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 one. Like that. Then I get white. And I just smash it on top. And that's it. Because how many color values do I need? Three. Pink by itself is dark. Pink and white is medium. And if I have any pieces of white, nailed it. I have 3D. Okay. So let me show you on this real stick. So I get my pink. Oh, there's white in my paintbrush. I just smash my paintbrush straight ahead. So it'll go poof. Okay, so watch, I get, I say, oh, pink. Let me do it closer. Okay, so there's like, and I don't want to look at that big, ugly, brown branch anyway. And I'm going to put five or six or seven. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they live in a big poof. They're not in a straight line. It's a puff. It's five, ten. I don't know. And then go down uh, this little branch. And now instead of five, there's like three. One, two, three. And then now they get smaller. One, two. And then one, one, one. And then one, two. And then three. One, 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 one. So each set of puffs get smaller, smaller, smaller as the stick gets smaller, smaller, smaller. But they're in little families. Little groups, boom, boom, boom. So it's, watch this big stick. It's too much brown anywhere. I don't want to look at it. One, two, three, four, five. Then I go down the stick. One, two, three. One, two, one. One, one, one. Little tiny baby ones. And I'm around the stick. I don't have to be, I don't have to be like all on the stick. I could be above it and below it. Because there's little, there's little stems. We're not going to draw in the tiny stems. Right, we just assume they're there. Pew, 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 pew. So, one, two, three, four, five. And then, one, two, three. Then, one, two, one, 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 one. And I'm above and below the sticks. Above the stick, below the sticks. Above the stick, below the stick. Okay, now that I have, look at, oh, this is bad. Look at one, two, three in a row, the exact same size. What? I better ruin that. Okay. There's no way the blossoms would grow all the same size in a row. Okay, now I get to add white. I just stab my white. And I'm, I don't cover all the pink. I give them little pink highlights. So I go, Pew. oh, okay, that's very white. Ooh. But hopefully as I start to run out of white, they'll get softer. Pew, 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 So I let pink live. I made baby pink by accident. I have pieces of white. So I just go. I'm making new blossoms. I'm landing kind of near and on my blossoms. I don't have to land on them perfect. I'm not like a sharpshooter or something. So I just go. And then a whole bunch. Then less, 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 less. And less and less and tiny, tiny. Pew, 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 for the tips. I don't like mine. Look, mine are evenly spaced apart. Look at one. And look at, they're literally a finger apart. Why do I keep doing that? Oh, yeah, I have a human brain. Human brain's like pattern. Let me go back and ruin it a little. There. Pew. Okay. Pew, pew. Okay. Doing things evenly spaced apart. Only humans do that. It's because we, you know, when you learned your letters and your numbers, they all have to be evenly spaced apart and how much they drilled that into your head, it's stuck in there. So you'll go to write something or try to draw something and everything's evenly spaced apart. Nature doesn't do that. So you have to go back and ruin it a little. So it's out of pattern. You're just like, where'd that pattern come from? Oh yeah, human brain, human training, whatever. But you know, from satellites, when they take pictures of the earth, if anything is evenly spaced apart, they know humans were there and they go there, they go there and they're like, oh, human stuff. Because only we do that. And they used to think that only humans made right angles. 
but they found nature does make right angles, right? How do they, how do, like salt, right? The crystal of salt is a perfect right angled square. So that wasn't true. So now that you're done, who feels good about it? Are you having fun making blossoms? Pew, 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 pew. Right? And did you get pink parts and baby pink parts and white parts? And you don't have to mush them together like when you were when we first started painting and you kept mixing your colors all day and then it became one color and you're like <sighs> look at your first side look how much you mixed your colors right and then you look at the other side and you're way more brave and you're way more with the texture and softer with your touch Right? But you had to get there. You have to learn on this planet by doing it. So you're like, I don't know what she means. And then you're done. You're like, oh, now I get it. Good job, you guys.